Get real hot. It is uh, 1029, and that means it's time for the Good Day Celebrity Dish. First, though, we need to bring in a little help, so let's bring in our man Easy Street. Good morning to you, hey, Easy. It's Friday! <laughs> I see. I'm, I'm going to need a little more energy moving <laughs> forward here. It's good to see you, though, Easy. <laughs> David Haynes, rest in peace. Yes. All right. Uh, first up here, Cardi B has upped the ante with her latest raunchy music video, as if that was possible. Her single, Up, dropped overnight, and she left nothing to the imagination in a plastic see-through outfit, one of the many sexy ensembles she rocks in the video that we can show on Good Day because we don't want to get in trouble. We don't want you to get in trouble if you're watching this at work or something like that. At one point, Cardi uh, dresses up as a wealthy widow whose husband died. She also transforms into a sexy mermaid and gets up close and personal with her female backup dancers. So, Easy, what do you think of this? What do you think of the music video Up? Stop calling this video raunchy. Did you say the same thing about Madonna when she was coming out with all those videos doing some of the same similar things? Did you say the same thing about Britney Spears when she did some of the same things in videos? I get it. It's rap culture. It's aggressive. It's anted up. It's to the next level. But please, people, understand the reality of it is, is this. Okay, people were talking about the fact that uh, she kissed the girl there were the uh, girls kissing. In, the, in real life, do girls kiss? Right. Yes, they do. Okay? So <laughs> in, in real life, do people twerk? Now we're just seeing it in the music video. I have no problem with this video at all. Is it empowering women? That's a whole other subject. Mm. Uh, here's the thing. I, I'm fine with it. If you don't like it, don't, don't listen to it or watch that's it. Where that's where I am with it. Say. Yeah, that's where I am with any, of the, any, of, uh, any video that you think is questionable. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But don't hate and stop the person from, from doing their hustle. Right. I mean, right. they're not breaking yeah. any laws. So right. do what you do. Yeah. Secure the bag. Yeah, but I'll play devil's advocate here, uh, Easy, and I'll say you can just call it all raunchy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be one or the other. Um, and, and so the question is, is raunchy fine, right? If you don't want to watch raunchy, don't watch it. Pretty much. And she's Dominican. I mean, come on. Listen. She's going to, she's going to represent, and I'm for it. You're, I I, it. you're, you're calling out my bias here because she's a fellow uh, Dominicana. So, <laughs> so part of me just kind of is obligated to love her. Uh, but, yeah, no, I agree with you on that. Next up, our girl Lizzo is getting fit, and she wants everyone to know about it. Barely carry on a conversation while walking fast. <laughs> She's doing it while uh, running there. So the three-time Grammy winner belted her hit song "Cause I Love You" for some extra stamina during her uh, treadmill workout. Lizzo did this after she saw Miley Cyrus do something similar during her treadmill workout. So, uh, Easy, what you think? Oh, I think it's hot. Okay, so everybody in the entire DMV already knows that I'm a Marine Corps veteran. While we did our our runs. Uh, when we did our drills, it was all singing <laughs> cadence. This is good. Actually, yeah. uh, you singing while you're running is good for you. And we already know the story about Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Her father had her uh, dancing and singing at the same time. And look at her where she is now. She's got crazy stam uh, stamina. She's one of the best performers that there is, you know, out there. So, yeah. Run and sing at the same time. See what happens. Listen, I, I remember one time for a live shot, I just had to run maybe like a quarter of a block, and I had to go live the minute I got to my location. When I tell you I barely made it through that 60-second report, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have respect for this. And I don't think Lizzie, Lizzo gets enough credit. I mean, mm -hmm. the girl, can she does these pop songs and stuff like that, but she can sing. Yeah, and singing while working out. That's, that takes you to another level. That's, sure that's really impressive. Good for her. Good for her. All right, how about this? Uh, the beef is still cooking between salt and pepper and their former DJ, Spinderella. Producer Chris, here with the latest on this beef. Hey, good morning. So yesterday we told you that salt and pepper had gone on the reel to deny Spinderella's claims that she got cut out of that Lifetime movie that we talked about. Well, now Spinderella is pushing back on salt and pepper, saying their relationship is over 
until she gets an apology. So Spinderella went on to tell Billboard magazine that she will be treated fairly and not be in a group that does not want to be with me. So this has been a messy breakup like we've gone over before. Spinderella sued Salt and Pep in 2019 after she says she got fired from the group in an email. She also says they owe her hundreds of thousands of dollars in unpaid royalty. And now this movie thing is just the icing on the cake. Easy Street, do you think there's any hope of a reconciliation here? Nope, it's not <laughs> happening. Wow. And this uh, goes along with the whole, uh, you know, lineage of rap. You know, we saw EPMD breakup. We saw uh, Tribe Called Quest breakup and on and on. You know, the thing that I find fascinating about this whole Spinderella, salt and pepper beef thing is this, okay? Say that they did decide to put uh, Spin in the movie and give her more parts and talk about her character more. If Spinderella had a problem with anything that they said, what could she then do? Sue them again. Hmm. What do you think, Wes? Uh, it's just, it, this, this is sad because at some point, once you start getting older, you would think, you would hope yeah. that this kind of beef from back in the day would go away and you'd just be like, oh, well, we're, we're old now, so let's just move on with our lives. But clearly, this is a, a deep wound and it's not, doesn't appear that it's going to be healed, healed anytime soon. I mean, so. we did see some former Destiny's Child uh, members patch things up with Beyonce. So maybe there is hope, although these are like full out lawsuits. So uh, I, don't, I don't know that. Messy. I don't know. I will hold my breath. I'll tell, I'll tell you that much. All right. Messy. Yeah, messy, messy. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, Chris. Thank, thank you. Chloe Kardashian is dropping another bombshell in a sneak peek of the upcoming 20th and final season of Keeping Up with Kardashians. Keeping Up, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. The star sat down with boyfriend Tristan Thompson to discuss the idea of having another baby together. Here's his reaction. Every time I post a video of True, yeah. she DMs me and she's like, she can't play by herself her whole life. In my head, when I was going to have kids, I never ever imagined having an only child. And especially being on quarantine with her, I felt bad. Like she had no friends, she had nobody. And it was because, you know, they were isolated even from each other yeah, exactly. for so long. I don't know, True's getting older and I just feel like it's now time to have another kid. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like to hear. The couple's daughter, True, is two and a half years old. The uh, couple shares daughter, uh, True, and uh, we know Chloe, a few months ago, started the process of freezing her eggs last year. So she'll need Tristan's help in order to create an embryo. Tristan appears to be all in. He says he wants a big family. Easy, is this a good idea? I guess Wiz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this a good idea? But no, Easy, we'll start with you first. Okay. Go ahead, okay. Easy. Okay, I'm going? Yeah. Okay, I think it's a great idea. I mean, if they want to have babies, you know, hey, they, I'm all for it. Have as many as you can mm -hmm. while you want. But, but the thing about it is, is, is this is what I want to know. Has Tristan spoke to Kanye West lately? Oh. I mean, there needs to be that conversation. I mean, because when you, when you uh, begin to plant seeds with this family, mm. you have to be very careful. So I, that's all I'm saying. But if they want to do it, God bless them. Wiz, you obviously have something to say. No, no, no. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. Do yeah. what you want to do. I mean, it, it, they're the Kardashians. So uh, he's already in now, Easy. So it's, it's a little too late. What I'm more concerned about is the fact that he's wearing a Lakers shirt and he doesn't play with the Lakers. What's that about? <laughs> Come exactly. on. Exactly. He, play, he plays for Boston now. Yeah. Come yeah. on. I, I just, I'll add this. I just hope they're not having kids just to have kids because she wants more, right? And I hope their marriage is strong enough to give those kids, right, a, a family and, the, you know, the parents that are married. So, you know, all right, we'll see. Whatever works for them. Uh, easy, thank you. And I'm, I'm loving the energy, always do. Have a great weekend, thank Easy. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. Be safe. You too. Yeah, what did the song say? It's your thing, do what you want to do. Uh -huh. I don't care thing. who you sock it to. Yeah. Do what you want to yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, still ahead. Oh, thank you so much, Easy. I appreciate it.